I do feel sorry for you, Brian. You had to be completely out of your mind and overcome by evil to do what you did to my son. Well, hard feelings, but forgiveness for the Fresno County man found guilty of murdering a man he called his friend. Fresno County Sheriff's deputies found Stephen Robinson's body in a vineyard where someone had dragged him. Action News anchor Corin Hoggart shows us the excuse the killer is sticking to, but the judge rejected. Stephen Robinson got to a better place a lot sooner than his mother expected, but she's coming to grips with it a couple years after his death. He's skateboarding the streets of gold with his angels and happier than any of us on this planet. Kathy Robinson said she forgives the murderer, Brian Smith, but she wants him to stay in prison where he'll never be able to hurt anyone again. Her sister says Stephen loved French toast. Not long before he died, they were making a whole loaf late at night when he told her he had a feeling Smith was out to get him. He said, I think Brian's gonna kill me. The two men were friends, but had some beef over Robinson's girlfriend. The victim's family may never get the real story about how it happened. Smith claimed he was drunk and high on meth when he put a gun on top of his trunk. He admitted to investigators he got in a fist fight with his friend, but won't admit to pulling the trigger. Every day I have to live with, with, with the accident I did. I did not mean to kill his boy at all. I put on all my kids, I put on everything I love. Evidence shows the gun was right up against Robinson's forehead when Smith fired the deadly shot. A jury convicted him of second degree murder without premeditation, but the judge wasn't buying his excuse. It was an accident, Your Honor, that I take full responsibility for it. Mr. Smith, in all due respect, I heard the evidence, and I heard about the trajectory of the bullet, mm -hmm. and there is no way this was an accident. Smith also claimed he was originally driving his friend to the hospital after the shooting in Parlier, but ended up dumping him instead in a vineyard about seven miles away. The judge sentenced Smith to life in prison with no parole hearing for 40 years. Corn Hoggart, ABC 30. Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.